Yeah, um, it is right around 5.30 a.m. on today is April 24th. Hold on a second. No, we're the 25th. Yep, today is Thursday, April 25th. So see that right there, 5.30, Thursday, April 25th. 5.30 a.m. It is just starting to get light out. <laughs> and it's... 35 degrees outside. Okay. So this is not normal April weather. It's really cold and there's no heat in this unit. Once again, predictably, it, it's like, as soon as it gets really cold out, the Greenville group just shuts off the heat to the building. Maybe they're trying to save money. Um, maybe they have a really useless and dysfunctional heating system, which is obviously the case. But whatever, you know, the full reason is for the lack of heat in this unit, it, this is inexcusable. 35 degrees, but oh, wait a second, it gets better. No, what's the real feel? Hold on, I can't even see what the real feel is here. Real feel, 29. So it's 35, but it might, it, it, you know, <laughs> it might as well be 29 degrees because that's what it feels like. That's what the real feel is right now in Boston. This is really crazy because 35 degrees at uh, 5.30 a.m. at the end of April. So again, we are Thursday, April 25th. I thought we were the 24th, but no, we're the 25th. See that right there? Let me just turn the... April 25th, folks. It's 35 degrees outside, but feels like 29 degrees according to the weather uh, report this morning feels like 29 and it feels like it's 29 degrees in here as well because there's no heat there's absolutely no heat so you see that burner going right there that is my only source of warmth in here and I do not have to pay rent for this I'm going to call Boston's inspectional services right now because I've sent several emails to the Greenville group over the last 10 days and made a few videos about how there's no heat in this unit. So just to prove my point, okay, and I always do this, right? I worked as a research scientist at the master's level for 18 years, and we always have to back up our data. This is the heating pipe for this unit. It goes all the way around my bed. These are metal, metal coverings, and there's a pipe under here. If there was any heat at all in this pipe, the metal would be conducting the heat and radiating radiating it through these louvers right here, and it would be too uncomfortably hot for me to leave my hand on these louvers for any amount of time. I mean, I would know. I've, I've had to deal with excessive heat in this unit in the past, and when you touch these louvers, when, they're, when the pipes are warm, when they have heat in them, even if there's a just a small amount of warmth, it's a little too toasty on the metal right here to leave your hand on for very long. These are ice cold. And when these metal louvers are ice cold, the mice that seem to come from one unit to the next run along underneath these, uh, these louvers along the underneath part of the pipe and use it as some kind of a highway to run, run through the unit. I'm assuming that's how they get into the other units. And then you get the mice in here because they're cold. They're coming in from the outside. But because the pipes are cold, the mice can actually use them as like a, a highway, basically. When there's heat in the pipes, the mice can't run along the pipes. They're just too hot. They would burn their little feet. You know, I mean, I have a thing for mice. I used to do a lot of in vivo research um, in tumor biology, angiogenesis, preclinical oncology, drug development, autoimmune drug development for companies such as Biogen. Um, Merrimack Pharmaceuticals, and I worked for 13 years at Harvard Medical School, and uh, I had to to work with a lot of mice. So, you know, I know mice. They have little tiny sensitive feet, and if there was any heat in these pipes, the mice would not be running into this unit. But because the pipes are ice cold, you can hear the, the mice literally scurrying around underneath these metal louvers. And right now, these metal louvers are so cold because there's absolutely no heat in the pipes that I've had my hand on here now for about two minutes, at least. My hand would be kind of uncomfortably burning right now if there was any amount of heat in this pipe. There isn't. 
And again, it's 35 degrees outside, but feels like 29. But because there's no heat in here, it feels like 29 degrees in here as well. And the mice are feeling it because they scurry underneath these pipes from one unit to the next. And you hear them at like three in the morning. That's when they like to come out and have a party. So I've had this burner going for about 25 minutes now because it's, it's so cold in here, it's like impossible to be comfortable. And you just lie on the bed shivering and uh, that's not really a way to live. It's also not healthy. It's affecting my voice right now. I sound like a man. Not that I don't normally sound like a man anyway, but I sound like even more of a man right now because my voice is all gruff. Hold on. Yep, 35 degrees. So I think it's time to call the landlord again, um, even though I've called them, you know, 10 times in the last two, three weeks to let them know there's no heat in this unit. There never is. I'm not sure if it's just this unit or other units, but this is really not acceptable. It's also a code violation. Um, the landlord is required to provide heat in the building up through the end of June. That's the heating season because it does get cold at night, even in like April and May, as you can see right now. Hello, you've reached the Greenville Real Estate Group. Our office hours are from 9 to 5, Monday through Friday. After the tone, please leave a detailed message with your name and number so we may get back to you when we return. <laughs> Yeah, hi. Um, it's right around 5.40 a.m. on Thursday, April 25th, 2024. I'm calling from Unit 89 to report for the dozenth time in the last couple of weeks that there's no heat in Unit 89, and it is currently 35 degrees right now in the Boston area with a real feel of 29 degrees, according to the weather report of five minutes ago. Um, there is literally no heat in this unit. The pipes are ice cold. And because the pipes are cold, there are rodents that run along the pipes and make little noises late at night. And that was happening earlier tonight at around 1 a.m. I suddenly had to stop listening to the video I was watching on my phone because I heard scurrying noises over in the area behind my fridge. And those are rodents. I mean, I, I know what they sound like. And they scurry along the pipes that go into the wall of the bathroom of Unit 78, located behind my refrigerator and my kitchen sink. So there are two current uh, code violations occurring right now in my unit. No heat whatsoever, in spite of temperatures outside being at 35 degrees with a real feel of 29. And there's an ongoing rodent problem, which is obviously not just in my unit, but obviously obviously throughout the building because the mice come and go and they seem to get into my unit through the pipe that goes into the bathroom of unit 78. Um, I've mentioned this in several emails and written notifications over the last few weeks and Greenville has refused to take any action or to provide heat in unit 89. I obviously can't speak to whether or not there's heat in other units, but I have to have the burner on my stove going for warmth at this time. It is the only source of warmth in this unit. Um, I'll be following up with a phone call to inspectional services and filing a no heat complaint since you have refused to take any action on this matter in spite of written and verbal notifications. You know my phone number if you have any questions. Thank you. I mean, at this point, my concerns are obviously very legitimate. I think anybody who is dealing with a no heat situation when it's 35 degrees outside and it's the end of April has the right to be concerned, but the, the landlord's complete lack of response to any any kind of legitimate uh, physical issue in this unit, except for there's not a lot of smoke and fumes coming from the bathroom of 78 anymore. That's interesting. You know, aside from that, they, they just don't do anything. I mean, inspectional services has had to get involved just so they would fix these giant holes that were in the wall of my shower stall for years. Inspectional services basically had to crack the whip over the landlord to get them to do any fixing of anything in this unit. That's not my imagination. If you're experiencing an emergency, please hang up and call 911. Otherwise, stay on the line and one of our call takers will be right with you. Or you can use the Boston 311 app to submit service requests directly. Thank you for helping keep our city beautiful. There is uh, no heat in my apartment right now. Um, there's absolutely no heat and it's like 35 degrees outside. I would like to file an inspectional services uh, complaint against my landlord. So I can do that for you. Give me one second. 
second. Thank you. Uh, yes, the first name is Isabel. It's spelled I S A B E L L E. The last name is Eckelhofer. It's spelled E C K E L H O E F is in Frank E R. I got you. Are you in your app? That's right. All right, give me one second. Sure, thank you. Um, it's apartment number eighty nine at the five Union Ave building that's owned by the Greenville Group. Thank you. So it's going to ask me a list of questions, so sure. don't mind the questions. <laughs> no problem. So it's going to ask the move-in date. Do you remember by any chance yes. of the year or the month? Yep, it was July 2011. 2011. Yes. Uh, yes, the owners are the Greenville Group. It's spelled green as in the color green, and then Ville, V-I-L-L-E, and then Group. Um, and they're located at 187 Green Street in Jamaica Plain. It's basically the same building. Do you happen to have their phone number by any chance? I do. It is 617-524-2500. I believe it's gas because it's baseboard heating I mean, I'm pipes. Gas. I'm sorry. <laughs> sorry, yeah, it's it's gas because it's the baseboard heating pipes, um, gotcha. and they have metal louvers over them. So I don't think that that's an oil situation. I think it's gas. Yeah, it's gas. So, um, question. Okay. Yeah. So the tenants don't regulate the heat at all. It's the landlord that's in charge of the thermostat, and they have it locked up somewhere. Um, so I don't even have a chance of doing anything about the no heat situation. I'm just waiting for them to, you know, fix it or turn it on. So during the day, is your home below 68 degrees? Um, not today because the temperatures were like in the 50s, but right now it's 35 degrees and it is probably at below 60 right now. It's really cold in here. Um, it's uncomfortably cold. And I've had to turn the burners on my stove for warmth because there's no other source of heat. And external temperatures have a real feel right now of 29 degrees. So it's 35 outside, but right now it says it's 29. Okay. I have a screenshot of the actual temperature in Boston right now. I believe you. I'm looking at it now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's surprisingly cold for April, and maybe they thought that they could get away with shutting the heat off for the building. But, you know, right. they're supposed to not do that until the end of June, I believe. Okay, that sounds great. Thank you so much for your help. Sure thing, no problem. All right, have a great one. Thank you. You too. Bye bye. bye.